you guys just tap it in. So, back on my test bench here, and fixing CB radios, fixing all kinds of stuff in my car and stuff. But, um, I wanted to, you know, in my previous video I, I fixed this thing. I had to replace the power transistor. I had fluctuating voltage everywhere, but, um, I was thinking I, I wanted to add like a voltage amp meter, current meter. So I found this on uh, Amazon, five bucks. Put a link down below. Um, but I wanted to mount on here so I could see what the thing was drawn. What the because it, it makes <laughs> after having that power transistor go out, it kind of made me like paranoid that I'm going to hook up some 18 volt source to like my radio. Even though the radio could probably handle it, but I'm you know restoring some really expensive like old old school radios and. You know, I want to use this power supply, but I, I don't want to be, have to worry about what the voltage is. So, um, I already started cutting this on my bandsaw over there. And, um, because I'm trying to get in there, it won't fit in here. It won't, I can't get it, it's too big over here. Um, but it, the depth-wise, I can't pass that transformer there. So, um, I did test it, it does actually work. Um, so I might, I might put on my lathe and cut that down. The flat. Uh, I should, we should fit. It's just right now, it's just depth-wise, so probably have to break that open and uh, we'll see what's inside of it. And this will closer look at the PCB. And uh, so it's actually, I noticed that there's actually no instructions that came with it, but it's actually a ground shunt. So the the source, you know, whatever you're, you're going to be measuring has to be on the ground side. Um, all right, so I'm going to have to take those off just to be able to give me some clearance in here. And then I'm going to take my step, step drill bed and in there. How will I able to open it up? I actually do have a pretty low profile one, but I'm going to use a little step bit here. All right, so on the positive side, I'm just going to use a little thin wire as a jumper to get to the positive side. Now on the shunt side, the negative shunt side, because that's the side that's picking up the the, uh, the current, um, I'm actually going to have thicker wire. So the brown wire is on this one of the ground, so I'm going to move them around a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to probably just desolder them from here and here and then run them to the ground, and then on the shunt, I'm going to run a thicker ground wire back to these two terminals. You know what's weird about this power supply is that um, the transform looks pretty beefy, you know? Like it says I can handle 5 amp, 3 amp uh, rated, 5 amp, but look at the wires on, on the transformer. Show you. I mean, these things look pretty thick right there. Like it could handle a lot more than three amp, because um, I know the actual power the power transistor back here can handle ten amp. So I could easily probably if I wanted to thicken these wires up, you know, like they purposely use like these thin wires coming off the transformer. So I could probably totally step it up by you know putting thicker wire in there. All right, so if I'm before I close it up, just first power on, get some pop. All right. 13, 39. I mean, I knew it was a 39. I tested it the other day. So, um, all right, let's hook up a load to it and see what happens. All right, so try to find something with enough draw to show up on the meter. All right, 0.07. All right, looks like it's working. So I'm going to put it away and we'll uh, put the case back together. All right, so here's a real example of what I was trying to accomplish. All right, so I can see the voltage. Got my radio plugged in, the speaker's not connected, so I don't hear anything. Got my oscilloscope connected, but I wanted to be able to see, you know, what it does in carrier. So I'm pulling two and a half amps down, 2.4 amps. Audio, audio, test, 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 audio, audio. So, carrier, two and a half amp. Audio, 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 audio. All right, cool. Um, yeah, that's what I was trying to accomplish. It only cost me five dollars at it. Took me about an hour for the time, so pretty stoked with that. Awesome.